There is a terrorist loose in our city. It is our duty to catch him before he kills again. I'm very pro-law enforcement. I believe that we're lucky to have the police that we have in our country. And something that I was interested in doing in this film is showing an extremely positive reaction that law enforcement had and how the police are willing to put themselves in the line of fire to help the citizens of Boston. Go, go, go! Go! We wanted to show these people the love and the respect that they deserve. For somebody to go out there and commit themselves to serving their community, that's a big deal, and that needs to be recognized. Want in custody? Yeah! Heroes are people who sacrifice their own well-being for others without wanting any credit for it. 7716 to control. I need an ambulance on Laurel Avenue. How many times you run this thing? 18. That's impressive, boss. Billy Evans was the man that kind of ran the show on the ground, and he was basically in charge of the scene in Watertown. He was the first on site when they captured the kid in the boat. We have our SWAT team, we have the state police watching, and then all of a sudden the clock picks up. And that's when you see the infrared, they see him on the boat. That's when we cleared out the areas behind the house. He's an amazing guy. He had run the marathon that day and was the commander at the finish line and, and securing the area. Down the athletic club when I got the word of this cap in here. Billy Evans started investigating, didn't sleep for the entire time. He stayed awake after running the marathon, never went home, never showered, never slept. We're gonna earn our paycheck tonight. And then you have Sergeant McClellan in the Watertown police who got into this otherworldly gun battle. Officers and the assistants, the corner of Dexter and Laurel! I was the uh, night patrol supervisor the night of April 19th. Started out as a normal night. Baker 364 responding. It quickly escalated to a massive battle with hundreds of rounds being fired and these pipe bombs and pressure cookers. Dispatch, I need backup down here! My guys that I worked with for years, you never thought one of them would save your life. And that night, I had a couple of Watertown police officers save my life. It was a uh, good night for the good guys. The work that the police, the FBI, all the different law enforcement agencies, and, and of which there are more than you can count, the job they did is astounding. Law enforcement officers, they sign up for this and they know that this could happen. I think there was a, a defiant response. This resolve almost from the beginning that they're not gonna get us. All medical personnel to the finish line, now! People always say, well, hey, thank God it didn't happen on my watch. Well, it happened on their watch. And to look at how these men and women kind of realize, you know what? There's no one else but us. I think watching individuals perform under that kind of duress is quite compelling, and that's something we're working hard to capture. These are ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances, and how they responded for the survivors and their families was relentless. Welcome to Watertown, mother...